is that thing supposed to keep Nigel in, or is it a new diet strategy? Very funny, Matt. Finally, I think that will work. It'll keep the two dogs apart when we're not here, and if Nigel pisses, it won't be so hard to clean up. And what about when we are here? Who's going to control the fighting now? Basil nearly lost an eye last night. You can't take the chance of that happening again. I told you I'll watch them. I'll keep them apart from getting at each other. Sophie, I'm the one who's not getting it. This place smells like a urinal. You're putting holes in all the walls. You, Ms. House Beautiful. And you're letting this place go to the dogs. <laughs> Tell me, why? Why is this so important? Why? Just give the damn dog back. No! No, wait. It is important. I'm not throwing him away just because of a few more problems. Nigel was wandering the streets for months, starving, homeless. If we give him back, we'll bring him to a shelter. And then you know what will happen. No, I've made up my mind. Oh, and Sophie, what about me? Don't I have a say in this? Isn't this my house too? Well, I don't want to live this way. Every day it's something else. Sophie, we're talking about a dog here. I'm not, I'm not giving you up. I can make what you say. Oh, there it goes again. Another sleepless night. Well, I can't go on this way. I'll stay with him. What? You're going to stay in the kitchen all night? What, are you crazy? Stop screaming at me. Well, you are crazy. Our lives turned upside down by a dog? It's not reasonable. Stop screaming at me, and I don't appreciate the name calling. And I want you to know I can't take this anymore. You understand? I can't take it anymore. <laughs> Scene two. Sophie and Mia in the living room. Have you decided what are you going to do with the dog? I can't let him go to the shelter. You know that will happen. I'm going to make some calls and put up flyers. Eh? Someone might be interested. One of my students wants to take him to his aunt. She's an older woman and stays at home. Perfect for Nigel. If this works out, I'll be so relieved, Mia. Well, I think Matt will be thrilled. He seems really upset about this whole thing. Oh, he'll get over it. You know him. He's basically so easygoing. <clears throat> By the way, how do you know how he feels? <laughs> when was the last time you spoke with him? If I didn't know better, I think the two of you would get together behind my back. <laughs> I've been checking his cell phone, and you know what? I saw quite a few calls to you and from you. <laughs> What's up, Mia? Sophie, I know Matt almost as long as I know you. I'm just checking in with him, and there you go again, paranoid, always thinking people are conspiring against you. Watch it, Sophie. You've heard about the self-fulfilling prophecies. Okay, so I'm a little paranoid. Right along with my abandonment issues. <laughs> <laughs> but I don't call your husband. What's going on? You don't think I see the way Matt looks at you? <laughs> and lately, it seems like you've been avoiding me. You want to know the real reason I asked you here? The truth, Mia. We've been friends for over 25 years. I think it's time. Truth? There is nothing to any of this, what you're saying, Sophie. And I don't want you to worry about this. I'm worried about you. You're so obsessed with this dog thing. And I've never seen you like this. Last night, I couldn't find Nigel. Somehow the gate was left open. 
It took me the whole night before I found him under a car. It had been raining really hard. He was soaking wet, scared, and all alone. I can't give up on him, Mia. He needs me. I know how he feels. What it's like to be homeless, thrown around, treated like you're nothing. No one really loves you. <laughs> I don't fit in anymore. I don't belong. I'm no one special little girl. A problem? Can't deal with her? Give her away. Yeah, put her in a shelter. Put her to sleep if she's not adoptable. Too many damn kids anyway. Her parents had no business adopting or bringing her into this world. So you see me, I can't give up on him. Not now. I can't. I can't. <laughs> Scene three. Two days later back in the dining room. Where else can we look for her? She's been missing for two days. She didn't go to school. We looked at her sister's house, her friend Jan's house. I mean, I don't know. Where else can we look, Mia? Take it easy, Matt. She'll turn up. Oh, man, I'm, I'm worried. She could hurt herself, Mia. You know what her life was like. It really messed her up. And of all people, you know. Yeah, I know about her father and her stepmother and how she lived like an orphan. Yeah, I know. Did Sophie ever tell you about the time she and her brother were thrown outside in the middle of this raging snowstorm? And they were freezing. They weren't even allowed back into the house. So they had to hold on to each other to keep warm. And then all the times they came to my house wanting to use the toilet. My mom wanted to call the police, but no dad said we needed to mind our own business. Matt, are you listening to me? Where could she be? I mean, I am so frightened. Even you don't know all the things that happened. When the people from the ASPCA came to pick up Nigel, she just lost it. She became hysterical. I had to hold her back. But I couldn't go on living that way. I mean, it's been weeks and those dogs were fighting each other every night. I couldn't sleep. I couldn't use the kitchen. I thought they'd start at each other again. What else could I do, Mia? What, what else could I do? Uh, no, 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 wait, wait, I, I, I can't, even if I wanted to, it, it really, it wouldn't be fair to any of us. 